Welcome to the Sheltie Shack. That's a great name, isn't it? Well, it's not quite a Sheltie Shack yet, because I don't have it fixed up. It is kind of looking shacky. And I don't have a Sheltie. So, we have a little bit of an issue there we need to address. But I'm going to fix this up anyway, even if I don't end up getting a Sheltie. I've been trying to find a Sheltie for since November. Four or five months. And I don't know, thing after thing just keeps happening and can't find one, falls through. Nope, someone won't sell me one, whatever, so. So we'll see if it ever ends up being a Sheltie Shack or if it's just going to be a Collie Cove. I'm going to make it big enough that I can have my Border Collies in here too. Um, so this will be a whelping shed, not really a living shed. This was a, originally the chicken house, and then when we got that new one, this was the duck house. And I liquidated my duck business last year, so I was ready to turn this into something else. I thought, hey, that's perfect. We need a whelping barn because we're right now we have we have one insulated room in the barn, but it's still just, you know, we're kind of making do with what we have. So if we could just have a dedicated area to build it exactly how we want it. Well, it set up the pens exactly how we want it. The building's already here. So I thought I'd make a few videos documenting turning this into our whelping barn. So this video will be kind of my plans for it and what the layout might sort of look like. And we'll see how much that changes as we go forward. Try to see what my naughty dogs are doing first. Hi. You being good? So let's see. Where I'm standing would kind of be an unused corner, so I plan on building a dog kennel to start right by that door, at the edge of that door there, and come out to about there, I think. And so this will be one bay, and I'll put the dog door maybe just right in that section, so I'll have an out, so outside run. And this back run will be a little bit bigger if it starts, you know, about right there. Okay, I had that wrong. I think this first bay will go all the way to this stud here. And then it'll go across. This one will go all the way across. And I just plan on utilizing that door there. I need to frame a little smaller, and I bought some guillotine dog doors that I'll put there. So I'll just do those two bays, and then this will be kind of the hallway thing. I plan on insulating these walls. There was metal here, so I took all that off. That's why this above part is painted and that's not. So I'll insulate all the way up. I think I'll insulate the ceiling, cover everything with plywood and some sort of plastic panels or something to keep dogs from chewing on it. Need to put some hardware cloth or something over those holes we had. I'm a very fat fanny, fanny out of the way. We're going to use to pressure wash this place so mice can't get up in here. And this floor is really bad. It's just two by sixes. And I don't know if you can tell, not really, how cupped they are. I don't know, it's probably at least a half inch just on each piece. I was advised to just put foam board down as insulation on the floor and then plow it on top, right on top of all this, these two by sixes. So I'm going to try it. We'll see how flat it lays. If it's really terrible, I might have to plane down some of the worst of these cupping things on the 2x6s. I already have power in here, out there, out here, and one light. I don't really think I can wire another light, so I might just have to plug one in and hang it over in this corner or something. Give us some more light. And go out. Go out. Job. The one run, the outside door will be about right here. And so I think I'll just do the run like the whole width of this building out to this side and out as far this way as I feel like. We'll see how far I feel like this duck fence just needs taken down. I think the second run will just be. I can just go wherever I want with it, really. I mean, I've got a big area here. So it might be nice to put it in a really big puppy pen. We'll see what I end up doing. I'm going to have to do something about this section because it's all muddy. And there's certain spots where it's settled. And when we've got rain, it's going to puddle there. So I'll decide what I'm going to do. I had to come back in because wind is picking up out there. I'm messing with the microphone. The first step is going to just be getting the flooring materials in here and then Try doing the walls. Actually, I think I'm going to do all the flooring first. I'm going to do sheet vinyl on it too for you know the actual floor. 
and then the walls, and then, and then I'll have to measure and mark exactly where I'm going to want my kind of walls. I think I'm going to only do a couple like solid walls. I don't know which one. This one might be over there, so I can put the whelping box back in that corner and they can have a private thing. But the rest of it's just going to be kennel panels, so it's going to be a little bit open. So I'll have to see exactly where I'm going to build my solid walls. I'll kind of just pick at this as I have time and money. If that's something you think you'd be interested in watching, then make sure to subscribe. That's what we're supposed to say, right, Clark? Yeah. You tell them, Clarky.